A diverging lens is one in which the center of the lens is thicker than the outside. Okay, so if you if you drill through the lens in the middle, it'd be uh, less distance than at the at the edges. Okay. Now this is our generic um, form, but it, but the the rule for any diverging lens is that it's thinner in the middle than on the outside. And we'll see examples where it doesn't look like this, but still still is a diverging lens by that um, by that requirement. Okay. So this also has some focal points. Let's draw one here. And let's draw one here. Okay. And then let's put an object here. What's going to happen to the rays coming off this object? Okay, so we have a parallel ray that comes in, and at this midpoint of the lens, it's going to bend according to Snell's law, the curvatures, and the angles it makes with the surface. Well, my question is, does it go through that one? And it's a different lens, so I should stop and think about that. So before we can proceed and figure out, well, what does it do? I want to go back to a converging lens over here, so and clarify why we chose the focal points we did. Okay, so if I have this lens, here's its midpoint, and I have a focal point here and a focal point here, and if my object's right here, I said the parallel ray goes through the far focal point. Okay. Well, that's not true over here. It's not the far focal point. It's actually this focal point. Okay. And there's some, some more constriction. So how can we come up with a general uh, property of you know, how do I know which focal point to go through? Okay. The thing that makes it clear is here's the object on this side. The light comes and first interacts with this surface. Okay. This is the first surface the light interacts with. So if we call this surface 1 and this surface 2 being the second surface the light interacts with, then we can start um, uh, discussing which one of these focal points are focal one, focal two. The idea is that this focal point is actually focal point associated with this first surface. Okay, because the way to figure that out is if you drew, if you continued this curve, this front surface, and and closed a circle with it, it encloses that point. So this becomes the first focal point, even though it's not first in terms of proximity to the object. It's the first focal point associated with the first surface of the lens. And the same can be said if I enclose this surface, okay, then this focal point is associated with this surface, which is surface number two, so this is F2. So we can restate our principles of these focal rays, or these rays, by saying the parallel ray goes to the lens and then, and I'm going to say this kind of weird, but it'll make sense in a minute, it's associated with the first focal point. Okay? The focal ray is associated with the second focal point and comes out parallel. Right? The central ray goes to the center no matter what kind of lens it is. Okay, so what do I mean by associated? Well in this case the first focal point is on the other side of the lens as the lens, as the object, so the light, the parallel light goes this way and continues to go this way, and so in this case it's going to go through that focal point. Well, what's happening over here? If I say this is the first surface, okay, this is surface number one, this is surface number two, well, this must be F1 and this must be F2 because this is the focal point that's enclosed by that first surface, and likewise this one is enclosed by the second surface. So this light ray goes towards this lens and is associated with this focal point because it's the first surface. But it doesn't go through that focal point. The lens isn't a mirror. It doesn't bounce off of it. It's got to go through. The light's got to continue going through this way. And so when we say associate, what we mean is it actually bends through the lens as if it's coming out of that focal point. So by saying a new rule is that the parallel ray goes to the lens and then is associated with the first focal point or the focal point associated with the first surface of the lens. And in this case that means associated means goes through that point and associated over here on diverging lens means goes away from that point. Okay. Now we have similar adjustments for our focal ray. So here we have a ray that's going to go through the 
second focal point that's over there so it's got to go towards it so that's as if it's going to go towards it but it hits this lens and then what happened over here it all comes out straight so this one comes out straight too all right and so looking at that means well those aren't diverging anymore but just like our discussion with uh, an object within the focal point of a converging lens these rays are going to enter our eye and we're going to see them as if they're coming back from this direction and this one back from that direction and this is where the image would form where those two lines of sight converge and then we do have our third central ray which should just support our decision I didn't draw that very good but that would go through the center of the lens and it does intersect that point where they, the, uh, the other two lines of sight came from. So all three of these rays enter our eye and we see them as if coming from that point right there. Okay, So that is an example of a diverging lens and here is a case where the object is outside the focal points. Well, now that we have that clarified of what the focal points are associated with, let's try the other one where we have a diverging lens. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and just draw a straight line indicating the midpoint plane. It's a diverging lens. So I'm going to have a focal point here, focal point here. And I'm going to put an object within the focal point. Okay, the object's on this side, so the surface that light's going to hit first has its focal point over here still. That's no different. This one is f2. So I'll have a parallel ray come in, hit and it goes out as if from this first focal point. Okay, that's the same. The next one is, is going to go towards the second focal point as if it's going there and it's going to come out straight which makes it about right here is where the image is going to form and my central ray confirms that. Okay, so all three of these rays seem to converge at this point. So on a diverging lens, because of its diverging nature, the uh, the object or the image is always virtual. Light's not really coming from those locations. It seems to always get smaller. No matter how far away I get um, or how close I get, it seems to be quite small. Okay, so it gets smaller than, than the object.